Hey guys, welcome back to Gunplay News episode 24 for October 2016. This is part two, going to be going over some new announcements. All right, we have a lot of stuff to go over, so let's get right into it. There's a few more exclusive stuff that was announced, a few more exclusive things that were announced uh, that I want to talk with you guys about first. First being uh, some new Expo exclusives now. So uh, we are, we've been continuously getting like uh, a few new uh, Gunpla Expo exclusive kit like, it's, like announced every month, and it seems like. So we've got two more that I haven't talked about yet that I'll... I'll mention here for you guys. Uh, the first one is an HD Build Fighters Super Fumina Ayug uh, made version. So we already had the announcement of like the P Bandai Titans made version. So this is going to be an Expo exclusive uh, Ayug made version. So this is going to be uh, 1800 yen available at the Gunpla Expo. Basically just a slightly modified and recolored version of the Super Fumina kit from HD Build Fighters. The other one is the HDUC Unicorn Gundam Unit 3 Phoenix. Unicorn mode, gold-plated version. Now, we previously have had a gold-plated version of the Destroy mode, but I think this is the first time that we've seen a gold-plated version of the Gundam in Unicorn mode. Now, personally, for the Phoenix, I really prefer the Unicorn mode. I love the look of just all that gold and all the angles of the Unicorn, and, and uh, I think it looks really fantastic. Uh, of course, it is going to have a lot of nub marks, though. Unfortunately, that is the downside of that. The price for this is also the downside, as it will be costing 5,400 yen, so... Uh, 50 60 dollars for this uh, kit but looks great but yeah all right so the other thing is the uh, 7-eleven exclusive gunpla 7-eleven uh, and bandai uh, uh, every once in a while do uh, some kind of collaborations where they put out some exclusive gunpla got some really big stuff this time uh two perfect grades the first is the perfect grade gundam astray green frame uh, so this is basically the uh, just perfect grade Gundam Astray red frame, and it's just been recolored. Now the green is looks like a sort of, I'm not sure if it's metallic or not. It looks like it sort of is metallic though. I think like the green is like maybe plated or just like metallic injected. I'm not sure, uh, but it looks it's a, and it's not that green. It's so more of like a teal color, uh, interestingly, and so it doesn't look like it's coming with any different parts or anything. It's just the exact same kit as the red frame, but just recolored. It is also going to be coming with some different uh, stickers, so I'm guessing it's probably not water slides, but just stickers for that kit. Uh, again, 30,000 yen for that, so $300 or so if you can actually get it in Japan. If you're getting it outside Japan, it's going to be costing more. The other PG is the PG Gundam Unicorn, of course, here in a green sparkly frame actually it's a it's a green frame and it's like got metallic sparkles in there you can see if you look closely so it's a very interesting frame for the unicorn uh, otherwise the only difference again for this one is just going to be that uh, it comes with some different stickers this one i believe uh, aside from the psycho frame nothing else is recolored on that so it's just all going to be normal just with some different stickers so this one as well as for the same price thirty thousand yen quite expensive. So, I mean, I think just the those base kits, I mean, just the standard kits, the Astray, I believe, is cheaper than the Unicorn. So the fact that they cost the same now, I would say that maybe that Astray does include plated runners. Again, it's hard to tell from the pictures, though. So, anyway. Uh, all right, then we had a few HG things. We had the HG Armored Orphans Gundam Barbatos uh, for 1,200 yen. This is a uh, gold version of that. So it's an injected gold. I have... If you look back, uh, or if you just, it's probably just better just to search. Uh, I've done a review of the gold uh, inject, gold injection version of the RX-78 II, the G30th version of that from the uh, Gundam uh, X711 version. Anyway, uh, it's a very unique uh, gold injected color. I really like this actually. I really like that color of gold injection. It's much better than the gold that Bandai typically uses, which is much more yellow color. Uh, so this is much more of a darker gold color. I think it actually looks pretty good. Uh, so I actually quite like the look of that. Again, that's 1200 yen for that kit. Uh, slightly more expensive than just the standard kit. Uh, then there's also the uh, HG Revive Freedom Gundam. And this one again is in a gold injected uh, color version. This one is 2000 yen for that. So again, uh, I think the Freedom does not look quite as good in this gold injected color, uh, but that's just my personal taste. Again, the nice thing about this being gold injected rather than gold plated 
is that you won't have nub marks, but you will still have nub marks just from the injecting, from the injection process. You will still see those nub marks in there. So, uh, but they're cool just like as like collector's items, I think. Last thing is the HG uh, Petite Guy set. So this is a, I, I believe this is a set of two of these Petite Guys uh, packaged together. They're two different color versions of this, a green one and a kind of reddish one, which kind of like matches like the the uh, uniform of the 7-Eleven workers if you ever like seen them in Japan their uniform is that color uh, so yeah this is 1,000 yen so that's the reason why I think this is a set of two it costs 1,000 yen uh, for this set I haven't seen that uh, like information saying officially that it is a set of two but I'm I'm pretty sure about that all right so that's it for the ex those exclusive things uh, this month we had the Tamashi Nations Expo going on, so we have a whole lot of figure stuff to talk about, and a lot of this figure stuff uh, does not have any solid details in terms of a release date or a price. So this kind of happens every year, there's a lot of stuff announced and not actually everything uh, actually ever goes into production. So a lot of this stuff, or just at least some of this stuff, will never probably ever actually get produced. So anyway, we'll just talk about what was shown at the... Uh, expo for now. Uh, so the first thing is a Metal Build Gundam Astray red frame powered uh, red frame and a 150 Gerbera option set. So this is an Astray red frame with the powered arms, the huge arms, and that also comes with this really huge like uh, like one-to-one -one scale or if even larger like katana handle. I'm not really sure what that is, if that's something that's actually used in a manga or something like that. If it actually has a sword that big, I'm not too sure about that. Or if this is just, just something else, I really don't know. Uh, but that's interesting. This is something that was actually shown, I believe, last year. So this is something that I, I'm guessing will actually be produced because it's been shown before. Uh, and, and now it's being shown again. So I'm guessing this is something that will probably be coming out next year. And we'll probably actually see this go into production. Next is the Metal Build 00 Quanta. Yeah, no information about this, but uh, just a uh, new Metal Build uh, figure that uh, has just been sort of just barely shown anyway, kind of like that. So not too much to show about that. Otherwise, just getting into other figures here, the Metal Robot Spirits Night Gundam Real Type. Uh, again, no information about the price or release date for these, but uh, the Metal Robot Spirits, I think that's a new line, if I'm not correct. Uh, Gunna figures and stuff is not my expertise, so I'm not really too uh, informed about this, but the Metal Robot Spirits, I believe, is something kind of new. As far as I know, it's like Robot Spirits that um, incorporate some metal parts inside the uh, inside the figure, so again, not really too sure. Hopefully someone can let me know in the comments down below, someone who follows that stuff more closely. But uh, this is basically just a uh, the Knight Gundam, which is usually like SD, but actually in like an actual like real Gundam proportions. So it looks pretty cool, I'd say. Uh, the other thing is a Metal Robot Spirits Double O Riser and GN Sword Three. So this again, a just new uh, Robot Spirits uh, Metal Robot Spirits figure. Also a Metal Robot Spirits uh, Strike Freedom Gundam was also teased. As in, you can just sort of like see it peeking out through the window there. Uh, again, nothing really too official about that, but that was just sort of shown in that way. Also, a Metal Robot Spirits Murasame uh, was also teased. Again, just, I'm guessing in like the same display there. So um, those were just kind of shown slightly. Uh, then just regular Robot Spirits. So we had the Robot Spirits x Signature Zeta Plus was shown there. And this looks really cool because it has like some, uh, it has like the camo, like sort of digital camo. Uh, effect going on with painted on that figure so that looks pretty nice also the robot spirits x costume signature faz otherwise known as the full armor double zeta this is in the sentinel color versions uh, looks great I think uh, of course it looks better than the master grade so that's uh, looking pretty nice if that gets produced it's gonna be pretty expensive I'm sure well over a hundred dollars but it does look like a really super nice figure Next is the Robot Spirits Gundam Exia Repair 2 and Repair 3. So it's uh, got parts that you can, I guess, switch out for whether you want to make the Repair 2 or Repair 3 version of the Exia Repair. Again, for all these, no price or release date set for any of them, uh, just what we've been shown here at the Expo. Uh, also, the Robot Spirits Full Armor O Gundam. So this is uh, the uh, original like O Gundam from uh, Gundam Double O and it is in its full armor form and i gotta admit it looks 
pretty ugly personally, but that's just my point of view. Uh, again, don't know when or if that will actually come out, but there's a look at that. Now getting into some other stuff that I'm sure probably will be coming out. This is the Formania X uh, new Gundam. I'm guessing this is also a new line that they're going to be doing. I, I don't believe that this line has ever existed before. So this is just like a like a bust of the new Gundam and also comes with like some other bits and like a few like um, maintenance workers or something like on wires going around around that. So it looks like a pretty uh, complicated thing there. So again, this line I believe is new. I don't think that there's been any other Formania X uh, figures that have been produced, but that looks like something pretty interesting. No further details about that that I've seen, but uh, there is that. Uh, next, getting to the Universal Unit. So there's Universal Unit is a line uh, of smaller figures, sort of similar to Assault Kingdom, but I think a little bit better detailed, but not as well articulated. Uh, the This is the uh, Universal Unit Hummingbird Blue version. So the this is going to be out in March for 3,800 yen, so we do actually have solid details for that, and I know this is also available for pre-order already. Um, so the blue version is going to be the standard release, then there's also going to be a P Bandai version uh, for the red version of the Hummingbird. So, uh, so from what I've seen, the price is the same, 3,800 yen, also coming out in March, so if you wanted to have both the red and the blue version, uh, one of them you will have to get through P Bandai, unfortunately. Next is an SD Gundam Neo. Now this, I believe, is also another new line uh, in terms of just these like SD Gashapon figures. So this is, I believe, just a Gashapon set here, Gundam Neo. Uh, they look really quite nice though, actually. Uh, sort of like Gashapon versions of Converge figures, kind of. Uh, this is going to be out in February for 3, 000, uh, 300 yen each for these. Uh, there is the RX-782 Gundam, of course. Uh, the Gundam Exia, the Unicorn Gundam in Destroy Mode, the Marasai in just the regular colors, and then the Marasai in the Titans colors, and then as well as the Gundam uh, TR6 Woundwart. So that's really cool. Uh, the Woundwart looks really cool. The Woundwart also comes with like this really huge uh, gun. Looks really awesome. Uh, so really happy about that. Uh, all of those look pretty cool. I wouldn't, definitely wouldn't mind a Titans colored Marasai either. So uh, we'll have to d uh, definitely keep an eye out for those when they come out. Next is the Converge uh, EX-14 Nightingale. So the uh, Converge EX series is like uh, some larger Converge figures or some sort of sets that they do. So this is the 14th in that line and it's the Nightingale coming out in February for 3,000 yen. Obviously not too cheap, but the Nightingale is quite large. So I'm guessing it's going to be not that big. It's going to be like this big probably. But still, that's pretty cool if you're a fan of the Nightingale. Next, the Armor Girl Project MS Girl S Gundam. Now, from what we've seen of just this picture here, it looks like it's just the S Gundam, but I wouldn't be surprised if it also comes with parts to make it into the XS. Uh, I haven't seen any actual photos of that, but I would imagine that that's probably going to be the case. But we'll see. Or that'll be like a P-Bandai uh, add-on set that you can get for it. It'll be like parts to make it into an XS. Uh, I'm not really too sure at the moment, but again, no details for that at the moment. Uh, but uh, that should be coming out. I would guess that will be going going into production next year. Uh, next in the Next Edge style is the Next Edge style Wing Gundam EW version. This is going to be this is going to be coming out in March for three thousand yen. Looks really really nice actually. I I for the Wing Zero Gundam I prefer this version of it. So I think this uh, Next Edge figure looks really really quite nice actually. Uh, next, going back to Universal Unit for a minute, we have the Universal Unit uh, Set 3 is going to be coming out in January. This one is going to be including the uh, Wing Gundam Zero. We just talked about that. The uh, GP-01 Full Vernon version, the Gundam Barbatos Lupus, and the GM Custom. Now, with all of these in the Universal Unit sets, uh, each unit will have two different versions. So there's uh, four mobile suits, but there's actually eight different figures. So, like, for example, the Wing Gundam Zero We'll have one figure that comes with the that's holding a beam saber. The other one is holding the beam rifles. Uh, the GPO one is uh, one version is holding just the standard beam rifle. One's holding the long beam rifle, like that. So uh, that is that Universal Units figures. All right, and then getting into some P Bandai stuff. We had a couple of new things announced for P Bandai sets. Uh, the P Bandai HG Iron Blood Orphans IO Frame Shiden Custom Ryusei Go. So this is just like a custom version of the IO Frame Shiden. 
or EO frame sheet in it. Uh, anyway, uh, this is going to be coming out in January for 1,400 yen. Uh, also, the P-Bandai uh, Aries uh, version of the standard grays and the Galileo uh, custom Schwab grays will also be getting reissued. So you missed, if you missed either of those kits before, uh, you'll be able to get those. Those don't include any new parts or anything. So um, the Ryusei Go new version of the IO frame uh, does include new parts. But in terms of the re-released kits, uh, those don't include any new parts. So just recolors anyway for those. Uh, next thing is the P Bandai HDR and Blood Orphans Hugo Dawn Horizon Core Twin Set. So this is a set of two Hugo kits, and they're in two different colors. And you're also getting parts from the option set uh, five, I believe that was. So you're, I believe you're probably just going to get one or two sets of the uh, option set five, or just the parts for the long rifle and the Buster Sword. So. Uh, the other thing, like the uh, twin maces, is not going to be included with this. So if you remember from that, uh, those are on those different weapons are on separate runners. So they'll just include the runners uh, from uh, for the the buster sword and the long rifle. So I'm guessing from the looks of what we can see in the pictures, we'll get two sets of those and the two kits, and they're in a little bit different colors. So that's pretty much it for that. It looks pretty cool though. I like those color schemes on the Hugo. It looks pretty nice actually in the light colors like that. Uh, all right, then getting into just standard release stuff, we have the only real thing that's really solid at the moment is the HG uh, Gundam The Origin gun cannon test type slash a thermal test type is from what I can get from the translation of the Japanese there. Uh, this is going to be coming out in January for 1800 yen. It's just a, a different version of the gun cannon test type, uh, and you have a few different different parts on it. Uh, one of the things is that you have an actual hand. Uh, for one of the hands, you can hold a rifle. It has some uh, different... Uh, a different like machine gun hand as well. Also has some different uh, ar artillery and machine guns and cannons that you can choose either or. It has two different heads, like one sort of like more gun cannon, typical gun cannon style head, and one that looks a little bit more like a Gundam head in a way. Uh, so really cool set actually. I'm really looking forward to that. That's a pretty interesting looking version of the gun cannon. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that coming out in January. Uh, then we next we have a few new things from the HD Iron Blooded Orphans line uh, that have been hinted. Probably we'll see these uh, very soon at the Gunpla Expo in uh, at least some sort of prototype form. These are going to be coming out in January. There's the HG uh, MS Unit A coming out in January for 1,000 yen. Now, uh, by the fact that this says MS Unit, I'm guessing this is not a Gundam type. Uh, if it's a Gundam type, it would probably say like Gundam uh, Unit A or something like that, I think. Uh, but looks pretty cool. Uh, interesting, kind of. And then there's also the HG MS Unit B. So the same thing, I'm not sure this is a Gundam type because it just says MS. Uh, this one's also coming out in January for a little bit more of 1,200 yen for this one. Also looks really cool. I really like the look of this one, actually, from what we can tell so far. So I'm really interested to see uh, what those are going to look like, uh, actually, when they get closer to coming out. And then finally, there's this news about an HG Iron Blood Orphans uh, Roe. Not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, just going off the Japanese, it should be Roe, uh, I believe. Uh, this is something that, I, if I remember correctly, this was from like the end of Iron Blood Orphans Season 1, so it's a little bit strange that it's coming out now, but I've seen. Uh, from what I've seen of this online, it doesn't look that official, but I've seen other people telling me that, yeah, it is official. They've seen it like available already for pre-order on some different sites, so apparently this is real. Uh, coming out in January for 1200 yen. Um, yeah, interesting. Not really all that excited about this one personally because it's not really my favorite design. Um, it's sort of like a mix of a Gyan and a Hyakuren. And it's um, interesting, anyway. Uh, so anyway, that's it for all of the announcements. There wasn't really a whole lot in terms of Gunpla announcements this month. So anyway, uh, we'll see you guys next month for hopefully some more uh, new announcements. For now, anyway, uh, coming up next in part three, you're going to be going over some updates for kits and figures. So I'll see you guys then. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.